Greeting to our viewers and friends who have joined us on 24 Hours Channel. What hot and not worthy even have taken place today was especially about the political and social situation both domestically and internationally. Let's find out with us right away. 1. Ladies and gentlemen, at least 120 people died and millions were affected when floods flooded many places in Henan Province, China, paralyzing the transportation system. According to Xinyu in recent days, heavy rains have caused a large river in Henan Province, China, to burst its banks and cause flooding in many localities, especially Zhengzhou City, the meteorological agency of Henan Province as well as in the city. Zhengzhou City issued the highest warning, predicting heavy rain will continue. Meanwhile, at least 31 large and medium-sized reservoirs in the province have exceeded warning levels. Photos posted on the media and social networks show that the streets of Hanam are submerged in water, affecting the lives of millions of people. Many highways have to be closed while many flights are delayed or cancelled. Many people have called for help online because they are both isolated by floods and without power. In Zhengzhou, the rainfall measured in the past 24 hours was 457, 5 mm, the highest since the beginning of rainfall data collection in this city of more than 10 million people. Prolonged heavy rains caused the Yellow River in Zhengzhou to burst its banks, flooding the streets, forcing the government to suspend all subway services. A video shared on social media shows turbid water reaching up to passengers' backs at a metro station in Zhengzhou. Thousands of rescue workers, including soldiers and firefighters, have been deployed to rescue the city. More than 10,000 people were evacuated to safety. In Enhuchou City, the streets also turned into rivers, carrying cars and many other vehicles. Flooding often occurs during the rainy season in China. However, its consequences are worsened in part by rapid urbanization and climate change. During this summer, extreme weather also occurred in many areas of China. Hundreds of thousands of people in Sichuan province have been evacuated due to floods and landslides. In June, Hodian City, Xinjiang Autonomous Region, recorded record-breaking rainfall. One netizen had to exclaim, the amount of rain this month March is equal to the amount of rain in the past two years combined. Meanwhile, Chinese officials warned of severe power shortages in eastern provinces, including manufacturing hubs, due to soaring electricity consumption during hot weather. 2. Mr. Xi Jinping called for all efforts to deal with floods once in a thousand years. Flooding in Henan province, China has killed at least 25 people and forced hundreds of thousands of people to evacuate. Chinese President Xi Jinping called on agencies and departments to use all their strength to cope. Writers quoted local officials in China's Henan province as saying that at least 2,500 people had died, 700 were missing, and hundreds of thousands had to be evacuated due to severe flooding. Among them, 1,200 people died when flood water flooded a train station in Zhengzhou City, the place hardest hit in this once in a thousand years severe flood. The Henan Hydrometeorological Administration and Zhengzhou City have raised the emergency response to the highest level. Chinese President Xi Jinping today also called on local governments at all levels to make all efforts to support those affected, giving priority to ensuring the safety of people's lives and properties. Some reservoirs have burst, causing casualties and property damage. The flood situation is very serious, Chinese media quoted Xi Jinping as saying. Heavy rains have continued since the weekend has caused the water level of rivers in Hanam to exceed alarming levels. In some places, there has been a phenomenon of breaking banks. In Zhengzhou alone, within an hour, the recorded rainfall was more than 200 mm, while the recorded rainfall was more than 670 mm, close to the annual average of 640 mm. More than 30 reservoirs in Zhengzhou all exceeded warning levels. China's Army and Ministry of Emergency Management have dispatched tens of thousands of rescue workers, including soldiers and firefighters, to Henan for rescue work. Photos circulating on social media showed that many roads in Henan, especially Zhengzhou City, were submerged in water, and traffic was paralyzed. On the street, a series of cars and motorbikes were swept away by flood water. A subway station in Zhengzhou was also flooded. Photos shared on Twitter and Weibo show that the water is up to the body of passengers in the carriage. The incident left at least 12 people dead, 5 injured, about 500 people were safely evacuated. One witness said, The water kept rising. At first it was just knee high, then up to my hip. I started to panic when the water rose to my chest. She added, I heard a woman calling a relative to save her bank account information in case the worst case scenario happened.
I called my mother and said I didn't know if I was lucky to survive. This is my closest death moment ever. I will have many regrets if I don't make it, the girl said. 3. Massive floodwaters rise to the necks of passengers on the Chinese subway once in a thousand years heavy rain in Henan, China caused scenes that were described as haunting and scary, including scenes of floodwaters rising to the necks of subway passengers. A hand rests against the window of a subway car as dark brown floodwater surges through the tunnel, one of many terrifying scenes happening underground in Zhengzhou, Henan Province, central China. Quack is shared on Chinese social networks. At least 18 people were killed. 200,000 people in Henan had to be evacuated when severe floods hit yesterday. According to Reuters, Henan has witnessed the most intense rain in 1,000 years in recent days. The Weibo social network and local news sites have shared videos of the terrifying scene as panicked subway commuters clung to where they could, as floodwaters rose to their chests, even even to the neck of some people. In the video, the muddy flood water flows at a fast speed, causing many people to panic. Parents quickly picked up their children when the lights failed and the space became dark. Water came in from the openings in the door, more and more, and then we all stood up on the chairs. One woman said of the terrifying experience on Weibo. For half an hour, after the water level rose higher and higher in the train, starting from her ankles all the way up to her knees and then up to her necks. The electricity went out. Half an hour later, it was enough to just breathe. Difficult, another female witness recounted. After that, the rescue team appeared and broke the train to pull the passengers out. Heavy rain that lasted for several days fell on Zhengzhou and neighboring cities of Henan. Social media is flooded with updates from people fearful of having relatives living in Zhengzhou. They could not contact their family members when the communication line was interrupted. Is the second floor safe? My parents live there, but I can't call them, wrote one worried person. Heavy rain caused power outages in many areas, including a hospital with 10,000 patients. Medical staff have to manually pump oxygen into patients in the intensive care unit when the ventilator cannot work. Roads in dozens of cities were flooded. Early this morning, Chinese President Xi Jinping said the flood situation in Henan was very serious and asked the government to prioritize the safety of people's lives and property. Xinhua News Agency 4. Many large rivers burst their banks. Dozens of Chinese cities were flooded with water heavy rains fell on China's central Henan province, bursting the banks of many major rivers, leaving about 12 cities underwater. According to Reuters, the streets of 12 cities in central China were flooded today, while many subway passengers had to wade through hip-deep water at stations. No casualties have been reported, but the daily life of the province of 94 million people has been seriously disrupted by traffic disruptions. In Zhengzhou, the capital of Handan on the banks of the Yellow River, more than 200 millimeters of rain fell in an hour, forcing the city to stop all subway lines. Images on social media showed people wade through hip-deep muddy floodwaters in a subway train, while underground stations become large lakes. Railway and aviation routes have been suspended or cancelled. In Ruzhou, a city southwest of Zhengzhou, streets turn into whirlpools, washing away cars and vehicles. In addition, the Wai River is rising, threatening to affect Longmen Grottoes, a UNESCO World Heritage Site with millennia-old Buddha statues carved into limestone cliffs near Luoying City. Like Longmen, the Shaolin Temple in Dingfang City, a temple famous for its martial arts, had to temporarily close its doors. Also in Dingfang, an aluminum alloy factory exploded today when water from a river flooded the factory. At least 31 medium and large reservoirs in Hanan province have exceeded the warning level. About 3,535 weather stations in Henan recorded rainfall exceeding 15 mm, of which 1,614 stations exceeded 100 mm and 151 stations exceeded 250 mm. The highest station in Lushan with 498 mm of rain. 5. Floods raging in many provinces of Kanam more than 4,000 people have died or gone missing after heavy rains caused floods and landslides in southern China. According to Xinyu and the VNA, China's Ministry of Emergency Management said the floods affected about 2.63 million people in 11 provincial-level regions. Heavy rains forced the displacement of 228,000 people, destroyed more than 1,300 houses, and caused direct economic losses amounting to more than 4 billion yuan, about $566 million, a strict in Guangxi Zhuang Autonomous Region. Six people died and one was missing after days of heavy rain. As of tonight, an estimated 1.3 million people in the province have been affected by the floods, 
of which 195,800 have been evacuated to safety. In central China's Hunan province, at least 4,000 people died in disasters caused by heavy rains. It is estimated that 321,000 people in 21 districts and towns of the province were affected by prolonged heavy rains, while 11,000 people were evacuated and received support. A strip in Guangding province, more than 20 people were evacuated after recent heavy rains. Hundreds of tents, clothes, clean water and food have been delivered to the hardest hit cities including Jiaoqing and Denvin. In southwestern China's Guizhou province, floods damaged 10,700 hectares of crops and 2,800 houses. China's National Meteorological Center forecasts that thunderstorms will continue in some areas of the country. Yes, dear viewers, that concludes today's news. We sincerely thank you and everyone who has been following our news. We wish you and your family good health and happiness. If you find it enjoyable, please subscribe to our channel and click the bell icon in the top right corner of the screen to not miss the last news that we will update. For now, goodbye and see you again.